Hello, I'm Dr. Shushmita Roy Choudhury, Director of Pulmonology, Portis Hospital, Kolkata. So I was asked, when is the third wave going to be? How and which people should be taking precautions and why? So let's just take it. What is this wave? Why are these waves important? Because the virus itself is an organism that needs to survive. And as a part of the natural process of a virus, in order to survive, it has to keep changing itself. And that is what is called mutation. Now, these changes either can mean nothing to the virus or they might mean that they make the virus more virulent or they might make the virus more contagious. If the virus becomes more contagious, then it can spread from person to person very quickly. And if it is more virulent, it can cause more damage to the body that it affects. When the virus mutates, it can affect people who are not prepared for the virus at all. So who are these people? Those who have not been vaccinated, those who are immunocompromised and those who are at extremes of age, either children or elderly. Therefore, getting vaccinated first and foremost is the best way to try and avoid a major viral infection. Lots of people keep worrying about, oh my God, the virus is mutated, what if my vaccine doesn't work? But the best option you have is to use the armamentarium at hand and that is the vaccine. If you are being offered it, please take it. And who are being offered the vaccine? Everyone above the age of 18. Children are not being offered the vaccine yet. Therefore, what we used to do in other diseases is provide ring vaccination. What does ring vaccination mean? Vaccinate everyone around the children, which means the entire family. If the family is vaccinated and the children are made to follow certain precautions, like avoiding going out to play with lots of children outside and to wear their masks when they go out, then the chances of children being affected is lesser. Is the third wave going to be really strong? So third wave will be really strong if we let go of all the precautions we have been taking. If we continue to follow COVID appropriate behavior, which means masking, not gathering too much together and not throwing caution to the wind. If we have symptoms, isolate ourselves first and foremost rather than hide our symptoms. Third wave will be there. Fourth wave will be there. Fifth wave will be there because that is how the virus mutates. But it will not cause as much devastation as the first two waves. It is all in our hands. Let us try and avoid a major wave of destruction. The third wave can be a mild one if we all look after ourselves and behave responsibly. So take care. God bless.